hi, Genki Call here with your campaign tasks, Broken Spire, and the upcoming events for the week of September 19th, 2022. Whoopsie. As you can see from this glowing star, we can get the power level at Broken Spire up one more level because of the new troop. So we're going to do this out of order. Head into the shop. Let's do resources first so we don't forget. Spoils of War. Get the max of 10 here if you can afford it. It's a fantastic deal. Every event key is one more chance at a mythic. So I recommend doing this every week if you can. Ta -da! And then I'm going to head over into a um, weekly event. So this is the reason we can now get the power level up at Broken Spire because there's a new troop for there and that means yay. Um, so I got it from the shop, um, the world event shop. So I'm going to go ahead and um, I'm actually going to only buy it up to legendary for the moment. And I'll come back. But you get all of these rewards. It's a fantastic deal for trait stones if you're lower level and you still need trait stones. It's a great way to get them. The grind is so real when you're looking for trait stones, especially these arcanes. So it's a really good deal. It's a guaranteed level 20 troop for your power level when you need it. Um, yeah. Um, the reason I am not going to do it all the way yet is that we may be required to use um, keys for this week's um, thingy, mob or doohickey, and I don't know because I haven't actually looked. So, here are your campaign tasks for the week. For gold, get 45 brown kills and get 30 elemental kills. Nice and easy. Silver. Kill Infernus two times. Win three dungeon battles. Match 200 skull gems in battle and use the broken banner for 10 wins. For bronze, craft one brown summoning stone. Use a mace weapon for three runs. Win three battles in a single are arena run. Win three ranked PvP battles. Explore Broken Spire once at difficulty 4+. Plus. Use a Broken Spire team for three wins. Complete one adventure board. Use a Warlord class for three wins. Open two event chests and earn 150 gold in battle. I don't see anything here that's really a big deal. Some people don't like to do the arena, but I have it set up. I only have to do one battle. So uh, that's uh, just something I like to do before Monday hits. So. All right, coming back here. Um, right, so I don't have to use any keys, so I'm gonna go ahead and get this up to Mythic. And it'll pop up at the bottom here when it's, yeah, that's a lot. Okay, there we go. All right, so here we go, power level. Yay, power level, yay! Happy day. Power level 22. And, yep, we can't do the rest. We need two more troops before we can get it up any higher. So, well, no, one more. One more, because I don't have it leveled to 20 yet. But, let me show you what you can get with your campaign keys this week. We're gonna... I have them all. Why did I do that? That's alright. Base rarity. So, the two mythics that you can get are Amarok and Infernus. They're both good mythics. Amarok can absolutely decimate the other team the especially if you run him like with magma dragon when there's tons of red on the board or you're running with sun spear when you've got the red storm just all of that red creates more chances to devour and it's funny how much that 4x multiplier adds up but once he starts devouring you can't stop him plus he burns and stuns a random enemy when matching four plus gems meaning you don't have to take along a troop or use a class that stuns to get past the things that are immune to devour so he also has skull damage reduction by 50 percent meaning he's great to run at the start of the, at the front of the team you just devour and then he gets their attack and then you just blow through them with skulls or you just keep devouring them yeah you can't really it's not like hiking iron gut where you have a set level you are going to devour at the certain point that's the only downside to amrock as far as his devourer goes in furnace does splash damage to two random enemies explodes five random gems getting you some more mana 
and he burns all enemies on 4 plus gem matches, making him really good to run with anything that does bonus damage on skulls, such as a class, that li like with Fireblade, or there are different troops that do double or triple damage when they're burning, so. Uh, also summons a Firestorm. Very nice. Gawk and good. I, mm, eh. I, I really don't like either or troops. This is one of the last ones I would use. I'm just not impressed with this troop whatsoever. Maybe he would be fun? I don't see how, but to each his own. His or her own. Um, he does get bonus 20 gold, which is nice. Maybe somebody could use it for that if they don't have Leprechaun yet and somehow pull Gog and Good. And they're soul, uh, gold farming. You will not be able to get Magma Dragon. You see, I have this guy, Gold Metal, but that is because I love this troop so much. Um, but you cannot get him with your event keys. Um, you can only get him from the Fire Rift faction, which is where we're going tomorrow. Um, sorry, cannot get this one with event keys. Others you will not be able to get are the Wrath Naga, the Lava Scorpion, and one more. Fire Spirit. Those four are all from Fire Rift and will not be available. Everything else you see here will be available. Just go ahead and do that while I'm here. All right. So I didn't even go over what this guy does, but we'll do that in a little bit. We'll do it in order so I don't miss anything. So good, good, eh, not here. Shegra. Oh, Shegra. Shegra is actually very powerful. If she did Doom Skulls instead of just Skulls, she would absolutely decimate the enemies. You know, if you've got red on the board with Skulls, she's going to create six more and turn all of those red gems to Skulls. She's just really, really nice. She also burns random enemy when matching red gems. She does double skull damage versus burning enemies. I personally wouldn't put her at the front of the team because she has no skull damage reduction, but it is there. There are better ones to put at the front that do extra damage for that. Uh, flame Troll. The trolls are always useful. Double the number of red gems on the board, then create three red gems. This is like the forest troll, every, anything else but for red. Um, the trolls are really powerful as long as you have enough of the base color on the board. And again, with burning. Next, we have the Gob Chomper. People love the Gob Chomper because it devours goblins. Has a 50% chance to devour them, and he's empowered. So if you're fighting goblins and you don't want to use Freeze, then the Gob Chomper is an option. Uh, that devours awfully nice. Um, I haven't had much luck with him myself. I prefer to use the freeze route, but he is an option that is empowered. Igneous is a god slayer. He does damage to an enemy if they're a boss, yada yada, transform all red gems to brown as well. So that is nice, but the god slayer, skull damage reduction by 50%. So we just did a raid boss um, event, so you know, already know what the 3 to 5x damage is all about. And if you don't, let me know in the comments below and I will be happy to tell you about it. So, Lava Troll. This guy creates a mix of red and brown gems equal to the current red and gem browns on, uh, gems on the board. Could be fun to run with uh, Magma Dragon since he creates a red and brown storm and there's always a ton on the board. Um, and skull damage reduction. Next, we've got Luther. You will already have Luther if you have played this game at all. As long as you've finished Broken Spire, you get him for free just for completing the storyline here. He gives attack to all allies and a few other things. He's he's kind of meh. Uh, Pigra is actually quite a good mana generator. Creates five red gems and explodes a bunch of red gems and then 20% chance to summon another one of itself. Um, and the summon a firestorm when an enemy dies. I'll be using this in the world event for my mana generator. Uh, Rhinogor. Rhinogor does splash damage, so that's hidden enemy. The adjacent troops get half of that damage, says right here. 
Um, and if an enemy dies, gain 12 mana. That basically you get all of your mana back if an enemy dies. And then skull damage reduction by 20%. And the enrage when an enemy dies is very, very nice. Um, because enrage is going to make you do, do um, an extra 50% on your attack. So very, very nice on that. Stonebiter. This one is our Siege Breaker. So this is the Godslayer equivalent of a tower killer. Um, whether that is Leona's Tower or what's that? Or um, Invasion Towers. If it's a tower, it goes down. And um, yeah, that's about it. That's about all I have to say about him. Taraxis. You know, it's not a lot of damage to all enemies, but he does transform blue gems to brown, which will help you to loop. And also, actually pretty good for quick delves, um, because he does damage to all enemies, and with the horde bonus, pretty useful for that. Plus, you get bonus red mana from red gem matches, which is always nice, and a um, little extra damage if you have brown allies. Um, can't get... Lava Elemental, Explode a Gem, deal damage to the first enemy, boosted by red gems destroyed, and burn them. Also, double skull damage versus burning enemies and reduce damage from skulls by 50%. I'm pretty sure I used this at the front of my Zulgoth team when I did um, Faction 500 Deathless at Depths of Sin, and he was very, very nice. Um, it's because he does that double skull damage versus burning enemies. Um, ba -dum -bum. Lava Scorpion. Nope. Lava Worm. The new troop today does damage to the last enemy and creates seven red gems, which means he can loop and loop and loop. He's like the Ice Worm, but instead of blue, he does red. He's going to be great in Arena. You know, with the looping, he could be very useful, but... Um, People generally choose a different route, but I think that he could work pretty well in the right situation. Obsidian Golem, skull damage reduction by 50%. Um, also, double skull damage versus constructs. I didn't realize that. And he is a construct. How interesting. Explode a gem, deal damage to the first enemy, boosted by red gems. If the enemy is a construct, deal triple damage. This is a construct killer, and I didn't even realize it. Huh. That is why it's nice that I go over these things every week. It gives me a reminder of what these troops do, because you know, I don't have them all memorized. Ograk Sham Shaman. <laughs> He's a shaman. <clears throat> uh, drain mana from an enemy. Create brown gems equal to the mana drained. So up to 12 brown gems. That's that's a max. If Even if you... Even if they have 30 mana... You're only going to drain 12. Um, he is immune to death mark, and, you know, other than that, he's kind of unremarkable. Stone Giant, you get him very early on. Remove red gems. Great if you are fighting something that is dependent upon those red gems, like for Guild Wars. Damage to a random enemy boosted by red gems removed. Skull damage reduction. Yeah, he's there. Sulfur Slime, don't remember what he does. Create yellow gems, five of them. Then convert all yellow gems to red. So he's going to be very good for mana generation for red. And eliminate points of a random skill from an enemy. That random skill could be magic or any of these values here. You never know. And I just don't like the randomness of it. But I mean, if you're up to... Oh, no. If you're up to gambling. Anyway, um, it wasn't the lava elemental I took. It was a volcanic... Golem. He does do this double skull damage versus burning enemies. Bonus red mana from gem matches. 50% skull damage reduction. This is the one that I used at uh, uh, Depths of Sin. Explode a gem. Burn a random enemy for every red gem destroyed. And he tanks. That's why I use this one. So, you know, if you don't have... Um, if you don't have triple skull damage from Fireblade, it's a level 100 talent for a class so if you don't have something like that he's a good choice to run with a skull spamming team to get you some extra damage so uh and still stay alive um Etten. 
destroy column, gain attack, boosted by all purple gems destroyed. You know, he's, he is empowered, but besides that, and the Jinx have enemy gem masteries. And what that means is that um, the, the gem masteries are what allows you to get a mana surge. And this halves your um, mastery so that your chance of getting a mana surge is reduced. I can't speak tonight. Ah, Fire Lizard! Damage to a random enemy and create seven red gems. Eh. I mean, I like the new Lava Worm better because at least you know what he's going to hit. Uh, Fire Spirit can't get Ogress. If you don't have Ogress, she is amazing for Bounty. She is a fantastic mana generator. Um, as long as you've got some life, um, you know, if you're really low level, maybe not the best mana generator for a bounty, but love her. Reduce damage from skulls by 50%. Summons when she dies, and she'll also, um, s yeah, summon when she dies. 50% um, skull damage reduction. I lost track of what I was going to say, but she's really good for bounty. <sighs> right next. Light splash damage to an enemy, full damage to whatever you hit, and one quarter of that damage to anything it's touching. Fire Bomb. Fire Bomb is really good in the right situation. Mostly people put him on him, it, on their PvP uh, team so that they can lose very quickly. If you lose, that is actually good. Uh, so that you can get revenge battles, and he's empowered, so... Uh, 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 the fortress gate. This is the summons. Gain some armor. Gain some armor. It's impervious. It just sits there and keeps the rest of your team from getting hurt. And then the ogre explode a random gem. Why? <laughs> no, no. But that's what you can get from your event keys this week. I suspect that we are going to be getting an update tomorrow. Because Broken Spire is supposed to be getting a rework. So I actually recommend that you don't use any of your event keys for Broken Spire right now. Wait a day. Wait until um, 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time um, to make sure that there has isn't going to be an update before you use your event keys. Just a suggestion. Totally up to you. But there could be an update tomorrow. Ah, uh, dum 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 ba ba. All right, let's go over some more stuff. Wriggle, 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 wriggle. All right, now in the vault, Medusa is now available in the vault. So this tarot card has. You'll be able to get it now in the vault if you get lucky enough to pull her. Um, and then. Uh, elementals get plus 10% to their skills, as do monsters, so monster elementals will get plus 20%, and if you take the new troop into PvP or Explore, you'll get an extra 400 gold per battle, and there are plenty of teams that are really good, nice and fast, that you can get a lot of extra gold, so. Um, also, upcoming events for the week, games. All right, Tuesday. I already mentioned Tuesday. Um, Faction Assault is Fire Rift. Use some shards there, really. Use some shards. Magma Dragon is awesome. He's my fave. Um, then on Wednesday, we have this new toy boat pet thing that's coming in for Talk Like a Pirate Day. On Thursday, we have the Warlord class trial. And this weekend, we have bum -ba -da -da, a skip. Arena weekend. Oh, joy. Arena. But, um, so, you know, a little break. Um, if you don't like Arena, I don't mind it too much. But then again, I don't love it either. So, anyway, that's it for the campaign tasks and this week in Gems of War. I'll be back with the other videos for you as soon as possible. Please like and subscribe, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye!